Come on back. Let's try to find a third friend somewhere. I don't think it'll be this level, because I just don't think there's room for a third person. But, I don't know. The oldest hero is the hardest hero to find. Or something along those lines. I don't even know what that means right now. I think one of the things I like about doing these gem paths is it actually kind of feels like a different game. Or a different level, not a different game. But at least like doing... Even though I have to redo the same level like 27 times, them changing the path changes it up just enough. Works a little bit better. Until that happens, really. So you have bs Also, a couple of these paths this way. Seems like you can go two different directions. So it seems like I can like shift right. I'll shift left if I needed to. And I don't really remember this one normal. It doesn't seem like I'm missing anything. But it seems like I'm missing something. I don't know what made me think of it, but over the weekend, uh, there's a local carnival festival thing that me and my friends go to every year, and there's this amazing, it's almost like a taco truck, taco place, like they have a real restaurant, but they take the taco truck to events, and they apparently have gator tacos now, so I had a gator taco for dinner on Saturday night, and it was awesome. It was better than I thought it would be. It was kind of like, the meat kind of tasted more fried than just like plain meat. But it was pretty good. I also got Sriracha Ranch as a sauce on my taco. So I added a little, a little zing to the gator. Screwed up one way and screwed up the other way. But if you ever eat, can you eat the gator taco, or eat any kind of gator, I suggest you go for it. Life's about experimentation. And I like trying weird foods. That was my fault. Uh, my fr I usually drag one of my friends into eating spicy food with me, or at least random food. Uh, for a couple football seasons, we both eat a raw egg as like inauguration for the football season, as we'll call it good luck for the Cowboys, his and my favorite football team. And I don't think we did anything weird last year. Son of a bitch. So in retaliation, I bought um, the one chip challenge chips, which are spicy as hell and supposed to like kill your mouth. And I also bought uh, the peanut challenge nuts, which is five peanuts that gets spicier with each nut. I've seen other people do it, and it seems like it makes you want to throw up and die. And that's really the effect I'm going for when I, with when I try to get stupid, get my friends and I to eat stupid foods. And I'm talking, I was talking pretty well there. I was trying not to stutter too much. Doing the high speed stuff worked out okay. But we're getting those spicy nuts. And I'm going to make him eat them, whether he likes it or not. He better, he better be ready. That's all I'm gonna say. Coming for you, sucker. Coming for you. Throw one should be a dropkick, right? Those babies are hard to find.
So I wonder where... Oh, the big worm boy. The best of you of justice. Worm boy is probably the third mission giver. I'm going to go back to the beginning then. I think we found the tape for the retro levels. So I think next time I'm going to do retro levels for the day. Should be able to fly through all those in about 20 minutes like last time. This was the first one I found the tape on. So we can finally go back and eye it up for realsies. So, in a game where you need to be able to see judge distances to jump, dive, kick, drop, kick, whatever you want to call it, uh, making me go face first like that seems near, near nigh impossible to pull off successfully. BS angles are showing me here. That dude looks like Evil Einstein. Albert Evil. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to redo this one too later. I think for most of these though. Like, if we get, like, most of collectibles together, if I clean up the levels, I'm not really missing anything. At least not on these older, and at least not on these ones. Like, the impossible ones are probably interesting to watch over and over. The slow speed trash, probably not as much. I feel like you should be talking to me, fat boy. Why do you want to talk to me? Is there a different path somewhere? I got you. I got you, boy. You're showing your hand too fast. Your poker face is no good. So where is it then? It has to be. It almost has to be him, doesn't it? Maybe like maybe the gold path instead. All right, wasn't going to go back to the baby smashing ones then. Who has baby smashing to be done? Not you. You. The gibbering cliff. Seems like these are the ones that have the extra stuff, right? Kind of as a general statement. All we want to do is find that baby. Getting the gold adds to the music. It does nothing else for me right now. Right in the mush. Why does it do that to me? I forget if I told everybody, but every year, it's probably repetitive. This is probably a repeatable story. Uh, every year, snakes move back into my house. When spring-ish comes, or summer now, or whatever you want to call June when it's 60 and rainy almost every day. Uh, but the snakes are back. Uh, the first day, I saw three or four babies underneath my front porch. Uh, they poked their little heads out when I'm not outside, and then when I go to look at them, they usually scurry away while I scurry away. Because they always say they're more afraid of you than you are of them, uh, but that's a dirty lie. 
because I am more afraid than they are. But, uh, I saw another one the other day, a solo one. And I saw a solo one today, and it looked bigger than it used to be. So, I think they're still growing as well. Generations will live on. I'm trying to watch up there for a baby head. Did not see it though. Maybe it's a gold, maybe it's a gold path. Pass me, right? Alright, one more. Wait, I don't want to replay it. I guess I probably can. So I can probably just not go that path, right? Alright, so we're gonna, do the, we're gonna do the plain one. Turn we're playing this normal. And this is the last time I'll do a solo for today. Try to cut back on the repetition. First summer I moved into my house though was when was it the first summer? Yeah, what happened? So the first summer I lived here, uh, my backyard is kind of marshy or marsh-like. Uh, there's a little pond back there, and there's also like a big open field. And no one ever cuts the grass in the big open field because it's kind of joint property, but not really. So it sits there. And the first summer I was here, my neighbors were like. Hey, our backyard floods, would you mind if we trenched out in the back to try to alleviate some of the water damage that we always get when it rains? And I was like, no problem, guys. That seems like a reasonable request from reasonable people. So uh, I let them dig it up, and the gibbering maybe a week or two later tops, all of a sudden, uh, I go outside of my house, and there's a giant snake. Uh, just chilling on my sidewalk. And to me, that was like, well, this is a little too far. And that was the beginning of the Great Snake Adventure of my living in this domicile. Uh, I've ripped up bushes to try to get them from to stop hanging out on bushes. Because one of the first years I was here, I saw them, they made a ball in the bush. Well, there was at least one or two just chilling in a bush. And either way, uh, when snakes go into balls, they're usually banging each other. So I wanted to cut back on the snake baby making process as much as possible. Uh, eventually, at this point, I've come to find out that they, 100%, without a doubt, Toby's guarantee of the world, uh, they live under my front porch. It's a big cement slab, which according to the internet is a place where snakes like to live. Uh, I'm not putting my hand under there to see how many under there. I'm not putting anything under there to try to upset them, because then they're just going to come after me. So now we're at the point in my life where I pretty much live with the snakes. Because as long as we run away from each other, everything should be okay. I don't hate them. They don't hate me. Copacetic. Good to go. This also seems like a no baby head path. Is actually more upsetting than anything else I was just talking about behind me. Okay, so there's no baby heads this way. Not really sure where to go back to get that one. Be at 100%. Not really sure where the baby head is. We should get a special plus at least. Perfect plus. There we go. I'll take that. Um, well, I don't want to keep doing that and being obnoxious, so we will go to the caves. Okay. 
We did that one. We'll do one more today. We will end the day in Retroland. Until next time, tomorrow, we will hang out more in Retroland. It's one of these kind of puzzles. Is he gonna keep going up with me? Smoke does not hurt us. Get those five Gs. We will call it a day after this. Thank you for watching as always, and we will be back tomorrow to try to beat some more levels. Uh, I might try to find the side guys between then and now, just to like, I'll throw a little clip at the beginning of the episode or something if I do it, but I will see you next time for more nonsense. Nice.